What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So the longer I take to make this video, the more time I'm taking away from myself playing Resident Evil 4, which is so damn amazing. I've been live streaming it, the PS5 version, and offline I'm playing my PS5, my PC version, because yes, I love that game th that much that I bought it twice. And I'm playing it simultaneously on two platforms, live streaming one and playing the other one offline. And it's still so damn good. It, it's, it's, it's insane. But the point of this video, right? Y'all know I don't care about the ABK deal. I honestly don't. I don't care which way it goes, whether it goes through, whether it, which, you know what? I, I want whatever's faster to happen. That's what I want to happen. Whatever's faster to get it over with. So anytime I make a video somewhat, um, somewhat related to any events that happen, it's never about the deal going through. That's not what this is about. I don't, I could not, literally could not care less. It doesn't affect me in any way. The reason I'm talking about this statement from Microsoft is because I love the worm that it put in Sony's air, right? So this quote came from some hearing, I guess they had in the past two days during, during the week. I don't really know what the status is of the deal or anything like that. Like I said, I don't pay attention to that stuff. So, but Microsoft said in, in one of the most recent comments said, uh, the quote was Microsoft considers that a period of 10 years is sufficient uh, for Sony as a leading publisher and console platform to, de to develop alternatives to Call of Duty. Boy, Microsoft, you spitting right now. Not that you're telling the truth, but you're saying what I want PlayStation to hear. That's exactly what I want PlayStation to hear. I want you to put that bug in their air. And I want it to annoy them. Like, I don't think PlayStation fans realize that Microsoft is doing you a favor. They're doing you a favor by some of the things they're saying and by what they're doing through this acquisition. Okay, and let me, let me I should say that I have a dog in, in, in this fight by by how I benefit. You may not necessarily benefit, but I will absolutely benefit from PlayStation um from Microsoft own, owning Call of Duty because of what PlayStation will do. Not because I'm going to benefit from Microsoft owning Call of Duty directly, but indirectly what it will cause PlayStation to do and how it will change their mindset. That's what I benefit from. As someone from 10 years ago who has been saying PlayStation needs to make their own multiplayer first party games and everybody telling me to shut the hell up they don't need to do that go play call of duty well you know that was one of the most satisfying things about this shit 10 years ago everybody telling me when 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 i said playstation needs to make first party games everybody telling me to uh go play call of duty now those same people are crying about call of duty ain't, ain't that wonderful how the universe works ain't it right i, I love listen I know people love to say I'm a narcissist, not narcissist, and I love to pat myself on the back and I'm an egomaniac. But I always tell people, the people who say I have the most insane takes that I need to shut up, that I'm wrong. No, I'm you think I'm wrong in the moment, but I always end up being right. Ten years ago, y'all thought I was wrong. But look at now, a whole decade later, look who was right. That's what I always tell people. Listen, don't worry, just give it time. Just give it time. You're going to think I was insane then, but you just don't have the foresight. I'm going to end up being right eventually, whether it's two years, five years, set eight, ten. I'm eventually going to be right. So don't worry. Just sit back and wait. It's like the Cowboys losing in the playoffs or not even making the playoffs. Guaranteed to happen. So this motivates PlayStation to actually make some of their their own first party multiplayer games reviving some of the, some of the IPs that they already have that and I've been harping on this and I listen I'm not trying to hear from y'all who be talking about oh kill zone resistance or socom wouldn't succeed it, I don't I ain't trying to hear none of that from y'all you you can shut the hell up I ain't trying to hear none of that because one you're wrong two doesn't matter they still need to make it so shut the hell up I don't care what none of y'all are talking about I'm not here to debate that the fact is they still need to make them OK, now here, here's the thing. Here's what Microsoft is wrong about. With this quote. Nobody. Can make a see get, shooters, there are shooters. It's not hard to make a shooter that's better than Call of Duty. Better is irrelevant. There are shooters that are better than Call of Duty right now. There have been shooters that are better that have been better than Call of Duty for a very long time. 
Call of Duty is not successful because it's the best first person shooter. Call of Duty just has some, it just has a hold on, on, and a grasp on gamers that we have just never seen before. It's not because it's the best quality first person shooter. It just has an addictive element that people love. And it's, and, and it's not that it's necessarily hard to mimic. It's just that if, it's like the same, it's like the thing I said with Fortnite. If somebody wants to play Fortnite, they're not going to play a Fortnite clone. They're just going to go play Fortnite. So what's the point? That's why it's pointless to try to make something so similar to Fortnite. If somebody wants to, wants to play Call of Duty, they're not going to play a Call of Duty clone. They're just going to play Call of Duty. So what do you got to do? You got to make something different to fill a void, to fill a gap that's not being provided. So that's why the whole make a game, make a first person shooter that's better than Call of Duty, that, that's nonsense. That, that's pointless. Because there are first person shooters now that are better. People don't play Call of Duty because it's the best first person shooters shooter out there. And even the fans of Call of Duty will tell you that it's not the best. It's just something addictive. You, you can't always put your, your finger on exactly what it is, but it's something that they that they love about it. And once and, and sometimes once like a game has a claw in people, it's hard to get it out. They'll always they may play other games it's not that they don't play anything else like call of duty players probably play several other first person shooters but they also always go back to call of duty so going back to what playstation needs to do playstation no playstation will never it's about the money for playstation we know that that's the reason why they don't want microsoft microsoft to own them because they enjoy the the you know the the percentage and the ratio of money they get yada 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 all that good stuff they allocate that money that they get to other things, to fund other things, yada, 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 know the deal. So PlayStation, you are never, and, and, and Microsoft is never, because let's, let's be real. My, what Microsoft is saying PlayStation could do in 10 years, Microsoft can't even do in 10 years. Microsoft, listen, Microsoft had one of the best first-person shooters in their pocket. It was, it was made by, by Bungie. And then sold and then sold to them and given to them when Bungie when Bungie left and went to make Destiny and look what Microsoft did to it they they literally did the reverse in ten years they killed off one of the most first person one of the most popular uh, first person shooters in gaming history so not only did you not do that do that in ten years Microsoft you did the reverse but that's neither here nor there right the point is PlayStation you cannot you cannot make something that rivals the amount of money that that Call of Duty makes. And I don't think you need to. I, th I think you just need to make some first person shooters that actually give gamers options of other things to play and other places to go to keep them within the PlayStation ecosystem. And it does, here's the thing, it doesn't have to be one game. No one game will ever rival Call of Duty. There's this, th in the NFL, there's a thing called the bell cow running back, but the bell cow, the bell cow running, bell cow running back is the running back that takes the majority of the snaps, plays most of the games, does the majority of the work. In recent years, there's been a massive decline of the bell cow, cow running back because they're, you know, you got to pay them too much eventually when they're, when their rookie contract is up, uh, you know, the, the shelf, the, the life of the bell cow running back is like average, what, seven, eight years. So people don't even want to sign them to that second contract Contract again. You know, they lose their speed, but before they're even 30, they lose their durability. So nobody wants, nobody wants that, right? Typically, typically. Some, some still have them. But what's been on the uprise in the NFL is running backs by committee, where you don't have just one amazing running back doing all the work. You have three decent to above average running backs that you switch between. Usually it's two. Sometimes it's been more than more than two on teams, but it's usually two and you alternate, you switch them out and that works for a lot of teams. Of course you'll still have your your starter, which is which is the best, but you still sw you know alternate and, and switch them out depending on, you know, the play and depending on what you need them need them to do. That way you keep both backs fresh. The point is PlayStation once again, games by committee, first person shooters by committee, multiplayer games by committee. You even even with multiple games by committee. No, you're not going to make the same amount of money 
that call of, that one Call of Duty game does, but nothing does. So you're never gonna you're never gonna have that. But once again, you could you you the, the bleed I guess that they're worried about. You can mitigate that. You can you can solve somewhat of the problem. And I'm gonna you know and we know they have ten uh like what what they say ten uh games as a service games in, in development. Not all of those are first party, by the way. Only a few of those are, are first party. So they are, um, they are doing something about it because they, they've realized that is something that they're lacking. But specifically in the first person shooter department, if we're talking about that, yes, you have dormant IPs and new IPs also in, in development, according to what we know, to mitigate this problem. If the only solution you think is to is to have something that replaces exactly what Call of Duty does and and exa and and uh, replicate exactly how much money Call of Duty makes, then there is no solution. It will always be a failure. Running back by committee. That is what that is the solution that should be adopted by PlayStation, and it will benefit us gamers on the PlayStation side who want. The diverse multiplayer experiences. There you have it. There you have it. And I'm not, I'm not knocking like like, like I, I don't knock either side. Because both, you know, people argue like, oh, both sides are making ridiculous arguments. Like, yeah, no shit. They're supposed to make ridiculous arguments. That's what both sides are doing. You say anything, you throw anything out there that sticks. It's it's a shotgun method. It doesn't matter how stupid it is. If it could Throw, throw things in your favor. Yeah, say it. Why not? What, how is it going to hurt us? Doesn't matter. They're supposed to do that. They're doing their jobs. That, that's it. I, like I said, I only care about how it benefits me. And this acquisition doesn't make any difference to me. But once again, I thank Microsoft and the rest of you PlayStation dudes trying to fight on PlayStation's behalf when they're not paying you. Same thing on the other side. Uh, with, with well, and both sides to me are, are, are dumb, but I actually think this benefits PlayStation, benefits PlayStation fans specifically, because it's once again, it's going to light a fire under PlayStation's ass to give us more games, more multiplayer games, revive some dormant IPs, do whatever they need to respond to quote unquote compete. They will never make an equal rival to Call of Duty. Nobody ever has. But you don't got to. That's what I believe. You don't got to. And, and, you, and you don't got to do it with one game anyway. But you can slow the bleed to, the, to, a, port, to a, a place where you are comfortable with your success and how much money it's making. So that's all I got to say about this. Um, thank you, Microsoft, for, for that quote. Um, because I'm sure that will, like, like I said early in the video, video linger in PlayStation's air and and like scratch at them and and annoy them and 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 they're gonna get like real vindictive and be like, word, okay, that that's what you, that's what that's what you gotta say. I right, say less. That's what that's what I hope it does to PlayStation. Say less. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. That's what that's what they should do. Um, but yeah, I hope I just hope this uh. This stupid ass deal is is done and over very quickly. Um, let me know what y'all think. Getting back to Resident Evil, that amazing game. It was blasphemous and, and heresy for y'all to even be talking about some ABK deal or whatever that early in the morning on on the on the holy day of Resident Evil, by the way. But um, yeah, I'm out. Catch y'all in the next video. Follow me on Twitter. Hit the notification bell. Hit a like button. All that good stuff. I'm out. Peace.